This video will demonstrate the update to catalog and update from catalog functions here in uh, tool six. So I'm inside of a project editor and uh, the scenario here is after I ran a report, I saw that some of my speakers were missing uh, labor hours. So without labor hours assigned to them, they weren't charging for labor um, based on the phase rate. So I'm gonna go find the speakers right now. And um, I know that it, they were these, AIM 5 or AIM Cinema 5. Let's go ahead and go to layouts here and go to the price layout, scroll over here, and we can verify that, yep, the labor hours are zero. So I'm gonna do a change to that. And what I'm gonna go back to is tools here. And I'm gonna do a quick mass update. Um, this is one way to do it. You can do mass update uh, products, or if you right click and also, it depends where you right click. I'm going to right click in this column. Uh, you'll see that there's the full mass update function here, but there's also just mass update labor hours. So we'll go ahead and just do that. Save ourselves a step by right clicking there. And I'm going to put that these are, you know, half an hour. Go ahead and hit save. Now that those uh, have been set to half an hour, that may or may not have affected my catalog for future jobs. Uh, that's all based on a setting right here. If you go here to uh, your global settings, Update catalog when item editor is closed. Uh, you hear that um, I've got mine set to prompt, but I didn't actually have a uh, item editor open. I made a change right in the grid. So um, the, the default here would be never. And um, this is another example where you would use the update um, to catalog if you want to push these changes out globally. But uh, even though I'm set to prompt, it did not prompt me in this case. So what we're going to do is go here to tools, update to, and this is going to show me what's going to be updated to the catalog. And in this case, this particular um, item that was in the list. There are no new products selected, so they're not listing here. But I don't want everything to change. Uh, maybe uh, just because I set that uh, labor hours inside of the job, maybe I change the description inside the job and I don't want that to go global. So uh, the options here gives you a way to pick and choose what's going to be updated. So in this case, I just want the labor hours to update to the catalog, go ahead and update. And now in the catalog, I've set these for uh, 0.5 hours. And now the uh, update from catalog function works um, just in the opposite. It's going to update the items inside of the project file from your catalog. So. Let me just go through and I'm going to set these back here to uh, zero. We'll just do that real quick. Pull this up. Zero looks good. We'll save it. It's been updated to zero. So now when I say update from catalog and choose uh, products because that's what I've selected here, that will open up this form showing what's going to be updated. Um, all You notice they're separate here because of the, all the separate items that are within the project file. All of these that are selected are going to be updated uh, from your catalog based again on your options here. So in this case, we'll uh, deselect all. I'm going to hit labor hours. And when I hit update, I should see 0.5 once they've been updated. 